Welcome everybody to the, I don't know the date first, March 19th, 2024, Cape Elizabeth uh, Planning Board meeting. Uh, tonight we'll get a uh, call to order. Uh, we are going to first review the minutes from the February 20th, 2024 meeting that everybody received. Anybody have any additions, subtractions, changes? Yes, Jim. Yes, on uh, page, um, page five, kind of halfway down, the second sentence of the third paragraph, let's see, he also stated that there is barely enough parking when the restaurant is full, should it, instead of popular, is that a better way, is that what he meant? I don't know, I'm suggesting that, so that's one. Okay, wait, so this was something yeah. that Al had said. Yeah, he also that. stated that there's barely enough parking when a restaurant is full, period. I should say full, period. Is that a period there? Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess I wouldn't mind changing that. Anybody have any thought? It could be in popular times. It could be. Though, in popular it just didn't, times. didn't sound right to he me. He may have literally said that, though. I don't I, Yeah. We're I'd rather keep it, it just okay. in case. That's fine. Okay. The next page, page six, second paragraph down. Mr. Prentice addressed the board and clarified both that Mr. Tamaro has been, cross out the letter A, has been good to work with. I can okay. see that. Yep. Anybody have any problems with changing that? No. Okay. And then on the same page, going down, third paragraph from the bottom, Mr. Bedensky asked Mrs. O'Meara to explain the conditions during the site walk. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. And since those are your words. What's yeah, what's that? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. I'm sure. And if you said driving, it would seem better to say during, so. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. that was it. All right, great. Uh, anybody else have any changes? Matt? From the amendment that uh, I was not at that meeting. Uh, okay. Just say that I was absent at the heading. So just on the first page at the top, could we just add uh, Matthew Caton, uh, absent. And me too. I was not there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You usually put absent? I don't know if you usually. I don't know. Do we do that usually? I don't know. I don't think so. It doesn't matter. I wasn't there, so. We usually do. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, because it's under present, but maybe we could just check into the practice and if in looking at all the other minutes. If that's not the regular practice, are you guys okay with not having yourselves listed there? Sure. Okay. We had a quorum. We can move yeah. on. I'll just check. Is check. All right. Okay. So besides, uh, or with those amended minutes, do I have a motion for approval? I have a motion to approve the minutes. Thank you, Derek. Uh, all right, any more discussion on the amended minutes to be approved? All in favor? All right, it's unanimous. Great, okay. So uh, the old business uh, on the agenda is the 1230 Shore Road Garage Site Plan Amendment. LP Murray and Sons are requesting a site plan amendment to add a 40 foot by 60 foot garage to the the existing garage site located at 1230 Shore Road. The comments of the town engineer are attached. The application will be reviewed in compliance with section 19-9 site plan regulations. And just to remind everybody, this uh, had gone to workshop. It was then, uh, we got a presentation last meeting. It was voted to be complete. There was a site walk that was done a couple weeks ago. And now we're just uh, wanting to see if the applicant has to or wants to address any changes uh, that since uh, the last meeting that you made. So I'd address or I'd invite the applicant or the applicant's representative to take the podium. Good evening, Chair. I'm Bob Metcalf with Mitchell Associates representing LP Murray. Uh, Ms. Murray's here this evening as well. Uh, there were minimal changes that were made. Uh, you can go over those real quickly. The parking lot up front. Uh, during the site walk, it was determined, you know, just because of the nature of some of the size of the vehicles that L.P. Murray has, we eliminated the end islands on this portion of the, the parking lot. 
and those were taken off and then to control access for vehicles, you know, pulling onto the lawn area, large bulges were put around the, the perimeter of that to give some additional control. Same thing as you exit that part of the parking lot to go into the main yard area. There were a couple of additional boulders added in the area near where the catch basin is located, as well as on the uh, westerly side, uh, that one little bit of an end island that was added in that location. The other things that uh, we had done since the last meeting, there's a, an existing shed right in the middle of the parking lot. Uh, that's a shed, and then adjacent to that is a, uh, a, an oil, it's gasoline? Kerosene. Kerosene. Uh, containment unit uh, and the board during the, the site walk questioned whether or not that was feasible to leave there given the nature of the trucks backing in and uh, it was de determined by the, the applicant that it was feasible to do such but the board asked us to put a note on the plan stating that that may be removed in the future it's just so it's, it's been noted during the review process. So we've added that. Uh, the door on the rear of the building, I believe I discussed that the last time we did move that, uh, add that. Uh, one of the comments that Mr. Harding had was in regards to the location of the uh, new propane tank, and we did adjust the location of that to offset it further from where the egress door is coming from the, from the garage. Uh, the other change has been uh, the applicant has requested to add another option in terms of the siding to a vinyl shake or shingles uh, siding because uh, it's easier to clean and maintain and that is a copy of uh, a photograph of the siding that uh, they're proposing to use. Uh, Mr. Harding's comments, uh, one was in regarding the ADA parking that we provided and we did note uh, ADA parking with van accessible. He just asked for detail. We've added that to the site plan, uh, to the detail plan. Similarly, there's a pad underneath the con underneath the propane tank, and we've added a detail for that concrete pad. Uh, the architectural elevations were revised to add the vinyl siding as part of the notes uh, on that plan for the materials. Uh, also, it was asked by Mr. Harding that the drip edge was three feet. Depending on what that overhang is, it may require being wider. Uh, so we just asked us to put a note on the plan stating that it be observed prior to completion of that drip edge, whether or not it needed to be wider than three feet. And uh, somehow I managed to miss the spot elevations around on the detail for the rain garden that in my letter I said had been done. And then sure enough, when I went and looked at the plan, they were, had not been corrected. So those are now corrected. Uh, that pretty much is a summary of the changes. We had gone over most of the changes at the last meeting for the completeness with the additional information of existing conditions that were added to the plan. So. Okay, great. Um, so I'm gonna open this up now to public hearing. Uh, anybody have anything that they wanna say? No, nobody's in the room, nobody on Zoom. So we're gonna open the public hearing, we're gonna close the public hearing. And does any member of the board have any questions or comments for the applicant? Sure, Andrew. Um, I think it might be just an oversight here. On uh, map plan L3. <clears throat> the lower erosion sediment control plan yep. has the old um, parking lot oh. showing on it. And also, I don't see any, er you show erosion control berm like profile right but I don't see and, and maybe I'm just missing it or I'm not reading there's a stuff. line right there no, okay now I can't I mean I'm probably just missing it because I'm not sorry um, I'm just looking I know certainly there's there's a mistake certainly including like the old plan for the parking lot so that needs to be corrected so it's consistent and then um, I was just trying to find where the erosion control berms were shown on this, and I think I'm just missing. There's a lot of lines. So. There is a there is a line across the plan, and I can pull up the plan. You yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
That, that's just the old, yeah, so that has been updated, it looks like now. It's just yeah, that this copy is not, is, that we had was not. Yeah, I submitted a full set of updated plans to Maureen today, so. So the erosion control berm is a delineated line on there. There was also one that, uh, oh, sorry about that. I knew I'd step away. Uh, the other change that we'd made that was requested by Mr. Harding was right there. This catch basin system actually, it's a, there's a, a raised structure, there's a grate on top that actually has an open side that that's where the water enters into that. And we put the uh, delineation for an erosion control berm around that, so. Sorry, can you just actually point it out? Because I, I literally have no idea where, I, I, it's more for my edification because I'm not seeing where those are shown. I'm just asking for him to actually show where the berms are so that I understand in the future <laughs> what I'm supposed to be looking for. Okay, there's one here, and then I can't even see from here the line weight, so it's. Do you want to hit the plus button and zoom Plus in? button, and that'll take oh. it up. There we go. Shift. Just the plus. I know I'm probably messing with um, our ability to get out of here in a timely manner, but. Oh, help if I was looking at the right plus button, right? I was no, wasn't going to be able to tell you where it was, so. <laughs> that is around that section in there. And it was, now you're right. I beg your pardon, I'll have to correct that because that silt fence should have been around the perimeter of the backside of the building in here. And then uh, around this corner here. What about that dash line? Well, that looks like a setback line. Where's, which one? That section. We will add that to the final plan. Thank you. Okay, anybody else, anybody else have anything additional or any questions? I, I, no, I've got one, Bob. Um, what all, what are you doing in the garage? Did you all ever say what you're, I mean, it, it's maintenance, right? It's maintenance, yeah. Is there a hydraulic lift in the garage? Okay, because it's big trucks, right? Yeah. They wouldn't fit? All right, thanks. All right. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay. Well, I have a motion for this board to consider. <laughs> All right. Hurry. Number one, LP Murray and Sons are requesting a site plan amendment to add a 40 foot by 60 foot garage to the existing garage site located at 1230 Shore Road, which requires review under section 19-9 site plan regulations. Number two, the planning board held a workshop on January 2nd, 2024, when the project sketch plan was discussed. Number three, the application was deemed complete at the February 20th, 2024 meeting and a site walk was held on February 27th at 4.45 p.m. Number four, the plan for the development reflects the, nat the natural capabilities of the site to support development. Number five, access to the development will be on roads uh, with adequate capacity to support the traffic generated by the development. Access into and within the site will be safe. Parking will be provided in accordance with section 19-7-8 off-street parking. Number six, the plan does provide for adequate collection and discharge of stormwater. Number seven, the development will not cause soil erosion based on the erosion plan submitted. Number eight, the development will be provided with an adequate quantity and quality of potable water. The development will provide for adequate sewage disposal. The development will be provided with access to utilities. The development will provide for adequate disposal of solid waste. Number nine, the development will not adversely affect the water quality or shoreline of any adjacent water, water body. Number 10, the development will provide a vegetative buffer throughout and around the site and screening as needed. Number 11, the development will provide for adequate exterior lighting without excessive illumination. Number 12, the development will not substantially increase noise levels and cause human discomfort. Number 13, storage of exterior materials on the site may be visible to the public, uh, on the site that may be visible to the public will 
be screened by fencing or landscaping. Number 14, the applicant has demonstrated adequate technical and financial capabilities to complete the project. Number 15, the application is in compliance with the town center design standards. Number 16, the application substantially complies with section 19-9 site plan regulations. Therefore, be it ordered that based on the plans and materials submitted and the facts presented, the application of LP Murray and Sons for a, a site plan amendment to add a 40 foot by 60 foot garage to the existing garage site located at 1230 Shore Road be approved subject to the following conditions that the plans be revised to address the comments of the town engineer in his letter dated March 13th, 2024, and that there be no alteration to the site nor issuance of a building permit until the above condition has been addressed and revised plan submitted to the town planner, and that the plans be uh, address the issue of the burn that we discussed at this meeting tonight. Can I get a second? Jim seconds. Uh, any discussion on the motion? All right, all in favor? It's approved unanimously. Thank you very much. Okay, um, we will now open the meeting to public comment. There's nobody in the public here. There's nobody on Zoom land, so we will close any public comments. There's a motion to adjourn. Any second? I'll second. All right, all in favor? All right, we're adjourned. <laughs>